We've been attempting to take the world's worst electric car on a 500 mile road trip through the Italian countryside. The last 12 days have been some of the hardest days of my life. This car goes at a top speed of 25 miles an hour. Every hour we drive, we have to charge for at least an hour to an hour and a half to make up for it. And the no air conditioning, suspension, or padding on the seats has made it insanely uncomfortable. We spent 43 hours and 50 minutes of the last 12 days at charging station. We're so excited for the finish line. So today, we're gonna go there together for our last and final day. Day 13, baby. We're attempting to go 500 miles in the world's worst electric car. Right now we're trying to make it to my dog's vet appointment so we can make it back to America. We are going into Rome, but I will not consider this the finish line yet because we're not gonna be seeing anything in Rome. We're going straight to a vet appointment for the dog. He has to be approved by the government here to be healthy enough to fly. The vet appointment is in one hour and it's saying 45 minutes away on the GPS due to traffic right now, so we gotta get out of here. This appointment is crucial or we lose all of our plane tickets home. We charged up last night as much as we could, so hopefully Hopefully this car has enough charge to get there. We didn't give it a full charge, but we think it's enough. The other factor is we only go 25 miles per hour fastest speed. The second issue is that we only can do a top speed of 25 miles an hour, so we need that extra time. So let's go. We're out of here. We're definitely a little bit fogged up today, but we're on the way. Must have just been a little moist outside last night. Give it a little bit of air in here real quick. All right, we're rushing at our solid pace of 25 miles an hour. Because when we say rushing it, that's all we can really do. It's 25 miles an hour, so let's make it to a set appointment. We are four minutes away from the vet place. Looks like we're gonna make it on time, but oh my God, my butt hurts so bad in this seat. I cannot wait to get out of this car, guys. Finish lines today though, baby, thank gosh. This challenge has been rough on my butt and back. We're almost there. We're so close. We're at the vet and pepperoni's on my back. He's right here. All right, so we're gonna go inside and I got all this paperwork and everything, so hopefully it goes well. Well, we're in there, Brandon went and he's gonna be charging the car six minutes away by drive at a grocery store and grabbing a few things for us. Cause we really, really, really need the charge. And then after this, I'm gonna go walk and meet him there because it doesn't make sense for him to pick me up because we, we need the charge. I think right now we actually need a three hour charge, but I'm hoping to get at least two hours in. Okay, so I'm outside real quick. They're still inside looking at the paperwork, but I think it's going well. Anna Maria is here from Air Animal. She's here to help me like translate and everything and make sure that like she can explain the paperwork. All right, I'm gonna go back inside. I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update, but they're smiling, so I think this is going well. All right, it went really well in there, guys. Woo! It went so well. Dude, it was a lifesaver having Anna Maria in there. She like went back and forth and explained everything and everything just went so smoothly and I got all the paperwork I need, baby. Oh my God. So thank you to Air Animal. I, they are not sponsoring this video or anything. I just wanted to say thank you so much because you guys saved my butt in there. Like, holy moly. That would have felt so impossible not knowing the language or any, or really much about the paperwork without them, so. Thank you guys. All right, so now we're gonna go meet Brandon. He's charging up right now. He is about a 25 minute walk away, which will give us time for the car to charge. It needs to charge anyway. So I'm happy to make the 25 minute walk because we need the car to keep charging. I want it to charge for at least two hours. And at this point it's only been like maybe 30, 45 minutes. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta, we're gonna have to hang out there or something. I don't know, find something to do while it's charging for a bit. It's a rainy puddly day out here. So I just met up with Brandon again. We are in the Conad supermarket. The car is a 10 minute walk away. The problem is, is that it takes three hours to charge. I wanna go home so bad by home, I mean the Airbnb. So like nap and rest, like I wasn't ready to get up for the day yet. But the issue is, is that it's only halfway charged right now. It's been an hour and a half. It took him three different chargers to find one that even worked. So he didn't get to plug it in for a hot minute. So now that it's charging, we either can wait another hour and a half. Oh, and on top of that, it's in a parking lot that charges $3 an hour to park there, three euros an hour, so like $3.50 an hour to charge. 
or sorry, to park there plus charging. We've never had a place charge us for charging plus parking. Normally it's one or the other, so that kind of sucks as well. And we're just waiting in the Conad because we want to go back, but if we go all the way 30 minutes to 45 minutes back to the house and then back here, the car will be completely dead. So we're debating if we should just hang out in Rome for the day because later in the day today, we have tickets to the Coliseum, but I don't have it in me to hang out in Rome all day but it might be the only option. We're debating how long we should wait at the Conad before we pull the plug on the charge. All right, we are on our way to the car. It's been charging for three hours. We decided just to wait for it to be fully charged since we really need the charge today. So right now it's like 1 p.m. We have to be back in the city around 5.45 p.m., actually a little bit earlier, for an appointment to see the Coliseum for the finish line, baby. But it's gonna take 45 minutes of driving each direction. But we have to go back to drop off some of the bags and everything and make sure that tonight we're not dealing with a whole mess at the car. <laughs> so we go back, clean out the car, eat some lunch, come back here. It's gonna be an hour and like 15 minutes to an hour and a half round trip, which is gonna use up basically all of our battery. <laughs> so we're gonna drop the car off tonight with literally Really no battery in it, so hopefully they don't throw a fit on us, but we won't have three hours to charge it later, so we gotta do what we gotta do. Now the rain has just begun. This is gonna make driving a little bit more rough. We just parked the car and got back to the apartment, so we're going upstairs. We don't have very long here, but we're gonna go eat. We're going up to the floor. The car is parked in that parking lot right over there. Can't see it that well, but it's the really tiny car in the parking lot on the right. All right, so we're in the Airbnb. I did want to say, I'm sorry if the vlog has been not up to its normal standards today. I feel like I have been really struggling with this challenge and so is Brandon today. Like we are a little bit both like ready. We're ready to be done with this car <laughs> at this point. I'm so happy that the finish line is today though. I am so, so thrilled that we're gonna see the Coliseum drop off the car today. But the logistics behind it has been sort of a nightmare today. And I feel like we're both just, it's just wearing on us both a lot because the logistics today aren't just like working themselves out. Uh, we brought the dog to the vet, then we needed to get a charge because of that. Then we made it back here, but now we have until we we have to be at the Coliseum. We have like three hours and 20 minutes until we have to be there and we have to drop off the car beforehand and drive all the way back into the main center city. Then we, our Airbnb host said that there was a train station here, but we're not seeing it on Google Maps or anything. So I don't think that there is, like it said it in the listing, but I think the listing might've been wrong or something. I don't know. Or I, I don't know. I'm not really big on public transport. We're kind of not feeling like dealing with it today. So I think we're going to do, I think we're going to eat. Then we are going to, lay down for just half a second to rest. Then I'm gonna go to the airport, which is only like a five minute drive away from here or less. And I'm gonna pick up a real car. <laughs> and I'm gonna drive that real car into the city. Brand's gonna drive the other car into the city and we're gonna meet there. Then, at least this is our current plan, it could change. I'll leave the car in a parking garage, it'll cost like 30 euro, which sucks, but at the same time, it would cost just as much for us to take the train back, so we might as well just get the car. The rental car is only $15. So $15 just the 30 euro garage. I feel like that's a pretty good good price to avoid having to deal with the trains or what, even if we took the train to the one near here, it looks like it's an hour walk to the train station. So I think we're just gonna avoid that altogether. Then we have to deal with taxis and everything else. We're just gonna go rent a real car. We're gonna go park it in the city. We're gonna go drop off this other car. We're gonna take the bag and put it in the real car to bring it back here. So we don't have to worry about lugging the baggage or back here in anything except a real car. Then in the morning, we don't have to call a taxi or anything to get to the airport because we'll have a real car to drop it off at the airport. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It's just, we're gonna go get a real car. It's gonna feel so smooth. It's gonna feel so luxurious. I cannot wait and all the bumps will be gone. <sighs> all the bumps, the gas, we'll just be able to fill it up. <sighs> I am so excited to drive a real car. So hopefully that all works out. I'm gonna book it shortly. And fingers crossed we have enough time to pick it up and make it into the city. We got ganache for lunch. Ganoshi? I don't know how to say it right. Don't don't roast me in the comments. But this is what we're eating. And we bought some on our whip. But oh, oh, I found it. Pesto sauce, baby. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. We didn't, we like skip breakfast today. So all I have is that yogurt from the grocery store earlier. This was the perfect lunch and everything I wanted. I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna eat, I'm feeling better, and then we're gonna get out of here and go get the rest of the logistics done for the day.
All right, it's officially time to drop off the car. We just cleaned it out. It is ready to go. I hope they do not get mad at us or charge us a bunch of money because it is not uh, gonna be filled up. It's actually gonna be almost empty when we drop it off with them. But I mean, that's their whole skew is they rent these things out. So you'd think they'd have a way to charge them. So fingers crossed, they don't give us a lot of hate for it, but we don't have three hours to charge it right now. If it was gas, we just have to stop at a gas station. It would be easy, but not with this. And then right after that, we have to make it to our appointment at the Coliseum, baby, for the finish line. Our final drive is happening now. Brandon, what did you just say to me before? Oh, uh, that this is the happiest drive I've had the whole time, stopping <laughs> this thing off. Ah, he's saying this is the happiest drive of this entire challenge. No, 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 maybe. Maybe. Cassie, did you drive this thing? I already know the answer. Oh my God, I never drove. You never drove. I oh. never drove, but uh, all right, wait. Just so no one bullies me and says like, all right, so Brandon drive the whole time. You can't time. even say you did 500 miles. I drove 500 miles. I sit uncomfortably in the passenger. He didn't even want the passenger seat because it was so crammed up with stuff that it wouldn't be comfortable for him to stretch out his giant legs. So we were both new our places in this car. My place is the passenger filming. Yeah, and it's called Passenger Princess. No, no. I had to film, I had to put up with all the stuff, I had to do the directions, I had to figure out where the charger stations were, I had to do all logistics for the hotels at night, figure out where the charging stations were. I was logistics, filming, videographer, dash, dealing out with the storage at my feet. And Brandon was the chauffeur. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but actually. The driver! We both had our places in this trip. But now we are gonna drop off the car. We'll be there in about an hour and then we're gonna have to book it to the Coliseum so that we do not miss our tickets. If you show up late, they will not even let us in. I think the things I'm the most excited about in a real car is air conditioning, a comfortable seat that doesn't bruise my butt. They can recline. That can recline. We used to take naps in the car all the time. Most road trips we sleep in the car. Can't. Yeah, here it's like impossible stretching out my legs and being able to go a top speed of higher than 25 miles an hour. <laughs> we won't have our first real car until probably, it's like Roma. We probably won't have the first time in a real car until we get to the United States though. Oh wait, no, we were planning on getting one tonight actually to get yeah, back to the hotel. It might be tonight. It might be tonight actually. We are dropping off the car now. Very excited for the Coliseum and to finally be out of the sure. little car. We're trying so hard to get in the Coliseum, but every entrance is telling us to go to a different entrance. I don't know if we're gonna get in, guys, but we made it. It's right here. It feels impossible to get in here right now. Why do they keep directing us to the other side? All right, now it's time to see the Coliseum. They just gave us our magic sticker to get in. After sending us on a wild goose chase, but we're excited. 31st. Awesome. It's closing time, baby, but it was awesome. We found like a little audiobook on the phone to listen to, which I hear more about it. The finish line has happened. Tomorrow is going to be so great. It's going to be a rest day in Sweden at our layover. And I cannot wait, guys. So, yeah, let's get out of here. Everyone puts their little entry ticket, green little slips on here that you get to put on your shirt to show you're supposed to be in there. And their headphones from their audio tour. So Brandon just put his green slip on here. I didn't because mine went missing somewhere in there, I guess. It's not on me anymore. So it must be gone now. All right, we are leaving. We're not really sure what we're doing yet. I think we have to pick up our luggage soon and head back to the Airbnb. Now to celebrate, we're gonna go get some gelato to celebrate the amazing finish line today. And it should be right down here. Oh, I see people with gelato, so I think I think it's down here. It looks so good. 
the perfect celebratory ice cream. So we're officially at the baggage place where we left our bag for this entire series. We're gonna go get it right now. I'm gonna end the series here right after we get the bag. To get here, we took these scooters. I wanted to film it, but it was way too just like scary to film. So I did not film. Like there's cobblestone streets, so much traffic. Like it was just kind of rough. But that's how we got to this place. It's like a souvenir shop that apparently also holds bags. So hopefully they've been secure this whole time and they have our bag. Yeah, I should have taken. Use bounce. Yay, we got it. All right, guys, and that is the end of the vlog and this entire series. Another series is coming soon. I'm gonna put in the comments what the next series ideas are, potentially, if I wanna share them all. I gotta, I gotta still do some brainstorming, but if this is posted by the time I get some time to do a little bit of brainstorming for another day or two, then I'll be posting in the comments below so you guys can give me ideas on what you guys think the best next series will be. Love you guys. This was an amazing series. Thank you so much for all your guys' support, and make sure you smash that like button. If I'm trying to get to 1,000 likes on one of these videos, it would mean the absolute world to me. Love you guys, bye. Welcome to Logbook page day 13. So today's distance was 50.33 miles. We had a max speed of 28.07 miles per hour. We went 557.78 miles, baby. And we spent 47 hours charging and we are officially at the finish line. So these are the final stats. Can't believe in 13 days we went 47 hours of charging. Holy moly, guys. All right, love you guys, bye.